Yat Ash Edel Chizana Ash A Courtney Crystal Hale Yenishia Ki Aninish the Nanaj at a Tachik Ni Bashishin Tapaha does it check with the Koja Eight the Sinella, Litin de Nasha, Shama Doshija A Gloria Do, David Hale will yet, Shama Sana A Laura Williams will yet, Akut Ego Asana Nishli. Hello, my name is Courtney Hale. I'm a student at NAU and I study secondary education English with double minors in Asian studies and Navajo language. I am from the Dine Nation and I studied abroad in Japan and South Korea. My initial decision to study abroad was one that I kind of just pulled on my parents. <laughs> like I mentioned it, like, hey, I want to study abroad in Japan. And I didn't really give them much time to think about it. I got the application like immediately. <laughs> So I didn't give them much time to adjust, um, but my decision to study abroad came from my general curiosity about what lies beyond the reservation borders. Like I know what happens in Gallup, what happens in Farmington, what happens in Flagstaff, general border towns, but I never knew what lie beyond that. That's generally where my curiosity for learning about other cultures and for traveling the world, that's where that comes from. It was a really scary decision because I didn't know what it was like in different countries. I didn't know what the livelihood was like. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what I would eat. I didn't know how I would adjust to everything. Um, but I think that's a process. It's in the process when you're going to study abroad is that you have to get over that fear. You have to push yourself to get out of that bubble that you created for yourself because if you stay in the bubble all your life, it's not going to be fun. So that was my real push to get out of the country, get out of everything that I knew was normal. And it was a bit odd because it was a completely different culture from what I was used to. On top of that, Japan and South Korea don't speak English. <laughs> I didn't know either of the languages when they went abroad, but it was something I wanted to do anyway because I was interested in the culture, the language, the people. I wanted to learn from them. It is a general learning process along the way, and that's the best part about study abroad, is that not only are you getting these certain credits for or whatever for your home university, you're getting to be amongst these people, amongst this culture, amongst these this years of tradition that this country has that's unique about them. And it's a beautiful experience, even though I only went for like a month in Japan and then a month in South Korea. It was the best thing that I could ever hope for. And along with learning about different cultures, I was able to teach people about my culture. The kind of attitude that I got was that we're something of the past. We're something that probably died out a long time ago and there's no such thing as quote unquote Indians anymore. It was nice to go abroad and like, hey, I'm living proof that that's not true. We are still there. We, all, we are still continuing our language. We're continuing our traditions. We're continuing this culture that we've thrived on for hundreds of years. There's no such thing as the dead Indian. We're still here and we're proud to be here. I remember that instant when I was in Japan <laughs> and we had just gotten done learning uh, the art of kendo, which is like a type of sword fighting. And these three little girls came up to me and they asked me where I was from because I didn't look like anyone else in our group. Their idea of what was American was someone with pale skin. And so we had to have a little back and forth, like, no, I am American. And then explain what it was to be Native American. And then in South Korea, I was amongst different college students from different countries all around the world. Even people from the United States, they had no idea who I was or where I was from. That's another major component of study abroad is that you get to teach about where you are. Even if you're like not necessarily Native American, you have a unique background, you have a unique lens to America that not, a, that not a lot of people get perspective on. If I get the stereotype correctly from what I got in Japan and South Korea, Americans eat hamburgers and are loud and are very rude. You know, you get to debunk those stereotypes. You get to say like, yeah, we do like our hamburgers, we like our fries, 
but we're also like this. There are different things to do where we're from. There's different things that I do that's different from everyone else. And that's a really great part of study abroad that you get to teach who you are as an ambassador for your country.